No, 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 no. Hi, everybody. It's Laura. I am doing my first cooking video on YouTube. I am making an Italian sauce, and I am making meatballs. Now I'm taking the sauce. I gotta get a spoon. I go over me by the time I'm done, cause I'm caught. Ah, uh, where's the spoon? Because I'm spastic sometimes, and I'm a klutz. Okay, so I'm putting the sauce in. Is one can gone? It's this kind of sauce. It's crushed tomatoes. It's what my mom uses. Yeah. And I'm putting two cans of it in here. And like I said, it's dripping, splashing all over my shirt. Good thing it's my pajamas and I don't really care. Okay, that's two cans gone. We saved this can. We'll put the spoon in so we could stir it later. Okay. Now I'm going to put some garlic powder into it. Maybe a little bit too much, but that's okay. I like a lot of garlic. I'm Italian. Uh, Italian, a little bit of Italian. Oh. Yeah, before you pour the whole thing in there. Like I did the last time, remember? <laughs> I did that with the garlic. A little bit of Italian seasoning, sprinkle it in. A little bit of salt. Blend that all in. Why does that not look like two cans? Oh, it's gonna, okay. I'm mm -hmm. putting meatballs into it. I'm also gonna make Italian style meatballs, which I will show you how I do it. I'm not gonna do the video on cooking the balls, the meatballs, but <laughs> that might take too long. Now it's going in. Crock pot needs to be plugged in, that would be nice. I mean, that's a good start to making sauce is to have a crock pot plugged in. Okay, it's going on four hours. Around five. Where's the cover? The cover would be right there. You right? Yeah. Right there. Cover? Yeah. Oh, wow. Alright, Laura could have had a V8. <laughs> That's going to probably be in one of the comments, too. Okay, hey, now I'm at the refrigerator. I am going to make meatballs with my ground turkey meat because it's healthier for you. I prefer 20... Getting the grated cheese out. We need two eggs. I prefer 80, but 80 and 20, but 80 lean, 20 fat, but that's just me. Breadcrumbs. Yeah. Here we go. Crock pot's gonna sit. This uh, is doing my meatballs in this bowl. Um, first off, before we start, we want to make sure that our hands are washed before we start cooking. May I actually do it this way. So I'm gonna use a little dawn that I don't have this in second soap, but that's alright. Hi everybody! You're too hot. I don't want to burn my hands. <laughs> 
Mayonnaise. I don't know why I said mayonnaise. It's funny. There we go. Don't need to video me drying my hands. No. Okay. We are going to do this. Laura does not like getting her hands dirty. No duh. So Robert's gonna do it for me. No, I'm just kidding. I usually do it with a spoon to mix it with all the egg stuff, but I'll use my hands. I'm just gonna have to wash them again. Okay. Here we go. What I could have just did was just put the whole thing in there. Much better. Well, not the, uh... Well, yeah, not that, but at least just would have been no, better. Are already greasy, yeah. Oh, my goodness, really? Mix the meat. That doesn't look like a lot of meat. Ew. Did somebody didn't complain? Can I have a paper towel, please? I'll grab a paper towel. I forgot to grab a paper towel. My bad. That would have been better. Nothing happened. Two eggs go into this. All right. Really? Put new Parmesan cheese and it ain't open. I'm a little nervous about this guy. It's my first cooking video. Hey, Mom, what's up? Well, I'm sure my mom will watch it. I posted it on Facebook. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, so she's definitely going to be in here. I put garlic powder on here. In here. There's that Italian cheese in there. Seasoning. This is where you would need a tripod. Salt. <laughs> and last but not least, the breadcrumbs. I only want a little bit of breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs is to make the meatballs hard and not mushy. I like mushy. So, a little, just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do the fun part. Except I'm doing it with a fork because I don't want to get my hands dirty again. Ah, uh, you will. You got to fold them. Yeah. I'm mixing. That's what it looks like. I know it doesn't look very appetizing right now, but it will. Uh, it does to me. You got any uh, mustard? <laughs> Ew. Or ketchup? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Gonna have to get my hands dirty because it won't work. Yeah, come on. Oh my god, I need more breadcrumbs because it's not hard enough. Come on, oops, not that much. Yes. <laughs> I want the balls to be hard. Come on, be like uh, Grandma Anna. Grandma Rose, you mean? Yeah, that too. Her too. I don't know how Grandma Anna made her sauce. I don't think she made it exactly the way my grandma aunt, grandma yeah. grandma Rose does. Alright, so I'm mixing this. Come on meatballs. Get your hands dirty. I don't know how she made the meatballs. Yeah, get your hands dirty. <laughs> I, I don't like getting my hands dirty though. Okay, Cosmo. So meat is a lot softer. <laughs> Than regular. Okay, hamburg. really? So, I'm gonna need a little bit more breadcrumbs. Turkey meat, for some reason, is a little softer than regular chopped meat made from beef. Made from cows, well. Yeah, okay, ground beef. Yeah, whatever. 
For ones who don't know what chopped meat is. Hey, gotta wash my hands again. They're all dirty. Yeah, take a video of it. Well, move on, I did. Huh? I got it all. I got longer hands than you. You know, did you, uh. I'm gonna wash my hands. How does your mom do it? I'm get dirty. So I have to wash my hands like three times while I'm doing this. At least three times. I'm gonna have the cleanest hand after today. There Hi. you go. What's up? There we go. Wow. Okay. Now, while that's cooking, we're going to. Now, does your, uh, well, does mom and dad does do her meatballs? Get a big plate to roll the meatballs now. I make them like probably about. Okay. These are soft. Really soft. Maybe about that size. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'd probably make about six meatballs. Hope I'm doing great, guys. How am I doing, baby? Uh, good. Just good? Yeah, awesome. Almost 13 minutes in here. So how does your mom do the meatballs? Same exact way I'm doing them, except I think she put something else in there. What? Parsley, maybe? I don't know. I don't like parsley that much. I do! But you're doing it your way, so... No, well, they look like hers. Hers got a little more green in them. We didn't put enough Italian seasoning in there. Okay, how about uh, Grandma Rose? How she did hers? Same way. Yeah, I'll be able to do it on a Sunday and dinner for all week. Not really, because you're going to eat them all. Yeah, what the hell is that? I don't know what Titsy Money did, would do on a Sunday. Make pasta on Sunday and have it for a whole week. Thank God, my arm hurts. That's scary. I'm rolling meatballs and my arm hurts. I'm getting old. Really? Yes. If you're young, don't get old. Well, it's inevitable, but... Here I go. There's that one rolled. They're all going to be different sizes, probably, but that's okay. You can get the finish. Sort of what it's going to look like. Ah, it's great day. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, I 
hate these cats. And yeah, I want to start off by saying, well, um, I hate these cat countertops. I need new countertops, but I live in low-income housing, so that's not going to happen anytime in the near future. All right, I'll show this video to Lisa. I must say, when I uh, when they rebuilt my apartment from the fire, they did it backwards and a little bit half. I don't know, discombobulated or something. I think I don't know what the heck they were thinking. My cabinets were put on backwards. Odd. My brother-in-law was supposed to fix them, but. I don't know how and I don't know when. He's handy, so he'll figure it out. My brother-in-law being my sister's husband. And this is going to be a baby meatball. Yeah, for you. This one is a tiny little ball because that's all I had left. Okay. Now, I'm going to wash out. Now I'm going to wash my tiny little hands again. Yeah. And those are my meatballs. Do they look okay? I think they look okay. I don't know. We'll see how they taste. Should I do a... What? The water's cold. What was I thinking? Wow. Always gotta wash the hands when you're cooking. Whether or not you want to or not, you have to. Because we don't want contaminated food. And we all know how Laura is. <laughs> when it comes to, never mind, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, now, if you guys want to see. Yeah, you might as well do. Might as well do it. Yeah, to get it out the way. Uh, do it right. on, do it on that one. This one? Huh, yeah. Far enough. The one right, right, one next. This one? Yeah. Why it's better? Yeah. And I don't wanna. I am going to put olive oil in the pan a little bit. Drizzle it. Is that all? Definitely mm. not burn the pan. I hope. And then uh, drizzling it around. Oh, my sauce definitely gonna see this one and make a joke on that one. I know, right? <laughs> olive oil because I don't have vegetable oil. I only use olive oil on everything. Hopefully it doesn't burn the bottom of the pan. And we put it on, start it on high because you want to get it a little hot. This stove is very odd. So I'm probably going to have to lower the heat. Yeah. And move this out of the way so that it doesn't is that a barbecue? Yeah. <laughs> Robert's already barbecued this. Let me show you. Yeah, yeah, just come on. Look. See? It's okay. It still works, though. What's good? It's good that it still works. It's my magic bullet. That is my smoothie maker. How long is it okay? You don't use your other one. Oh, yes, you do, but... On a certain days. Now I'm putting it on medium. I'm gonna put the meatballs in here. Just to brown them a little. Just to brown them until they're brown enough to put in the sauce and then they cook their own way through. Except I don't like this. I don't like the way that it goes. I know. Goes. That's the only thing. This one. This one like. Yeah, I know. I know. It's very odd. Yeah, you do have it on medium. Yep, I have it on medium. And I put my balls. I mess I was definitely gonna say this and make a joke on that. <laughs> okay. Oops. But yep. 
<laughs> and part two will be coming out around five o'clock. That'll be four hours. Where is your twongs? What? Okay, I'm gonna make the meatballs. So now this is gonna be a little higher, so it gets hot. Yeah, so yeah, at least eight first. Yeah. And then when it's slowly. Go. Make this stove. If the power goes out, guys, then I'll just show you part two later. Now part two will become. We'll be at five because that's when we'll be right. done. I know. I already, I already said that. I know. So around 520. Because you started the sauce at 115. Where did you get warm again? This one takes forever to go over. This is just now coming on. Yeah, there you go. I just don't want to burn the pan and set the house on fire. Oh, I wouldn't do that because I'm not that bad, but you know what I mean. Oh, it looks like they're browning a little bit already. Did they put enough olive oil in? Yeah, yeah, you did. Enough to not... I'm surprised they all fit. Okay, they're browning, letting them brown. splash so I might have to put the fan on which will probably make the power go out. No. Because the oil is splashing. I don't like oil, oil that splashes. It's gonna splash though. No matter what you do. Hi. Hello. I can stand on the side so that you can see me and the uh -huh. uh, Oops. There we go. I can definitely tell by the lighting, it's very different. I'm going to use a different thing. There you go. That one broke. Well, at least in a way, it still stayed. No, that one's a little sore. I know, but at least it's... And now you can put it to. Now I'm gonna lower the heat. My goodness, these balls smell delicious. I know. But some of them are not, for some reason, don't want to flip over. There you go.
cook them at least until they're a little bit more brown and then put them in the pan in the crock pot. Oh, did you tell everyone in the group too? What? So did you tell everyone in the group also? I told them I was doing it around one. Yeah, okay. I don't know how to send a video to them. No, no, no. They, they will... I uh, to the hang out. I don't know how to do that. Okay, I will do that. When I'm done with part one. Yeah. Well, oh, duh. Now this is part one, and then around... Five. And I love using a crock pot for my sauce because you could just, you know, put it in there. Forget about it. Really? Well, you don't really have to do anything. You have to stir it occasionally. Had to go all Robert De Niro on it? Yeah, you gotta stir it occasionally. Forget about it? <laughs> Forget about it, yeah. Robert De Niro, my uncle. Just kidding. Yeah, uh, yeah, you wish. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's around the corner. <laughs> no way he. Olive oil on the pan because it looks like it's gonna burn. So it spreads evenly. Oh, I wow. also hate this stove. I hate the stove top because the burner is a lopsided and it's not. Even yeah. Enough. I hate it. It drives me nuts. Why do you think I have to hold it when I'm using the left one? I wish my apartment didn't go on fire. I really wish my apartment did not go on fire. Well, who wants their apartment to go on fire anyway, but... Ah, uh, if it didn't go on fire, the roof probably would have collapsed on my head because I had water spots all over the place and they were getting bigger and bigger every time we had a storm. And three years ago, we had a lot of snow on our roof that had to be taken off by the maintenance men. And you should have seen how much snow was in my backyard. If I had, put it to this way, if there was a fire in my house again, or if something happened, let's just say this. I would have had nowhere to go. I would have had to do a uh, nosedive into the <laughs> snow bank because that was the, there was no path or anything. <laughs> I'd rather dive in the snowbank than... I would have had to nose dive into the snowbank. I wouldn't mind that. I would have anything to save my life. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to, but... Yeah, better of uh, jumping in a snowbank. So, if I still had my apartment when that happened, I guarantee you, my roof probably would have caved. And um. I wouldn't be here to tell the story. Right now. And if I was here to tell the story, I'd be very rich and not living in low income. <laughs> Meow. Okay, we gotta cook this a little bit more, maybe put it on a little higher to get the oil going. I'm gonna brown it a little more. How you all doing today? Oh my God, I sound like a southerner. <laughs> I been, yeah, you ain't been around me too much. Uh, I know. I'm starting to talk like you. That's scary. Uh, here's, the here's the cat, Midnight. She wants to probably come up on the stove. She's weird. I have a strange cat. Not. There you go, see? There's men. I don't know where the, the brother is. The brother that I almost lost yesterday. Robert was bringing in the groceries and Again. he went outside and I went to put away more groceries and he went outside, the cat, and he was by the door and then I'm like, Robert's like, he's right by the door but he's not coming in. I was like, you want to bet? <laughs> I was like, you want to bet he's coming in? So anyway, so he, um, I couldn't find him, so I was going crazy. I went all around the back of the house, I went all around the front of the house. I called his name like maybe ten times, and he didn't respond to me. So I'm like, great, 
I'm like, this is all I need. I need to lose another cat. Because my last cat, before Oops. Midnight came into the picture, well, you know, nope. Midnight was already in the picture when my cat got out of the house and never came back. And that was devastating, and I wouldn't want that to happen again to my Felix. Yeah, to so your I Felix. I find him. So I come around the front, and I'm like, please be at the door, please be at the door. Sure enough, he was at the door. So it's he in must bushes. be hiding in the bushes because he went into the bushes when I tried to bring him in. He went into the bushes. So that's probably where he was hiding, and I just didn't see him because there's a lot of bush out there. A lot of trees and stuff. Okay. I think this part of the balls are done. Yeah. So now I'm going to take the cover off of my sauce. And I'm going to... Put Here's the meatballs in. in. Yep. The, balls, the meatballs go in the sauce. Now. Oop. That one goes on the floor. Not. <laughs> Make sure to. Whoop! That one goes out of the pan. Yeah, at least turn it off. And a little one, I think I. It's probably done. I'm not going to put it in there. And then. Ooh! Now I get the spoon, which is right here. A stirring spoon. There you go. And I mix it. Yeah, to put it in. Mix the meatballs in there. My arm is hot. I almost burnt it. Good one. Great one. I want to taste the sauce yet because it hasn't been cooking very long. But once it gets closer, I do a taste test to see if it needs any more of any, like, Short, you know, salt or anything. Yeah, the sauce only been cooking for 30 minutes. I gotta do a taste test right now. It's only been 30 minutes. I will do a taste test right now if I don't burn myself. How is it so mm -hmm. far for 30 minutes? Meatballs will make it flavorful, but it needs more or something. What? Garlic powder? Maybe some more salt. Mm. It's usually what I do. I usually put more stuff in it after it's been cooking a while and then I just mix it again. It's been cooking for 30 minutes, but it's still not. Yeah, I know. You know, it doesn't taste like cooked sauce. It's still. T I turned the burner off. Why is it burning my arm right now? Because it's now is off. I know, it was off. But it feels like my arm is underneath it. Wow, well, it's okay. turning it down now. I did turn, I turned it off. I'm talking about the burner. It's off. Yeah, I know it's all but it's cooling down. Yeah. After being on for one. Want a bit of... Now we put the cover on and clean up a little bit. Yeah. And part one of my video is over. That's all folks. Very easy and simple. I will be back at about 5.15 when the sauce is done. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all guys in a little while. Bye.